welcome and in this video we will learn about spacing lengths which are very important in LaTeX okay here I have a very simple code document class is article there are two packages graphics and uh, geometry after that I have written author title make title and one image I have added here this one okay first we will see different types of units of length okay we can use a point millimeter centimeter inch which is equivalent to 72.27 point x which is equivalent to height of an x in the current font in lower case okay and m which is the width of an m in the current font in upper case okay in latex we can represent the length in two different ways first one is that number followed by unit okay for example 3.3 .3 millimeter 1x 2m okay and also we can say represent with the factor followed by a micro that expand to a length okay for example, if I write 0.85 backslash paper width, that means we are taking 85% of the total paper width, okay. There are several predefined lengths in LaTeX, okay. For example, we can use a baseline skip command, which is the vertical distance between lines in paragraph. Column shape, which is the distance between columns. Column width, which is the width of the column. Unit length, generally this command is used in the drawing, okay, in LaTeX. Line width, which is the width of the line in the current environment, okay. Text width, which is the width of the text area in a page, okay. In general, line width and text width both are same, but at some places uh, they are different, okay. Even side margin, which is the margin of even pages, and odd side margin, which is the margin of odd pages. In general, even side margin and odd side margin both are used uh, in two sided documents, especially in book class, okay. Paper width, this is the width of the paper and the paper height this is the height of the paper okay par indent this command set the indentation of paragraph okay next one is par skip with this command we can set the vertical skip uh, between paragraphs next one is tab call shape with the help of this command we can set the uh, column separation in table and last one is top margin which is the length of the margin in the top of the page okay we can see the default value of these commands with the help of uh, the command okay for example, I want to see the default value of a baseline skip. So for this we need to use a backslash D and then a baseline skip. So in this way we can see the default value of these commands. Okay. But we can change the default value with the help of set length command. For example, I want to change the default value of baseline skip. So I'll write here set length. There are two curly brackets. In the first curly bracket, just write the pre-existing command. So default value is 14.5 uh, point. I want to use 15 point. Now if I use this command again. So this time you can see that default value is 15 point, not 14.5 point because we have changed here. Okay. So for the local setting, you can use a set length command in the document environment. And if you want to use a global setting, then you can use this command in the preamble. We can also create our custom length with the help of a new length command and a set length command. Okay. For example, I want to use one custom length. So I'll write here new length. Better to write in preamble before begin document. Just write the name of our command. Okay. With backslash and after this just use set length okay in a first curly bracket just write your uh, custom length this is a uh, backslash c space and in a second curly bracket just define your length and here we can check the spacing okay all right we will see the use of these commands first we will use uh, uh, baseline skip okay here as you can see default spacing between lines is uh, 15 point okay which we can change all right so in this way we can uh, change the spacing between lines okay for this paragraph i want to use 5 mm okay all right Next one is column shape. This one we can see in uh, two column document. So I'll write here two column. Compile this file. 
Now this time I want to increase the spacing between columns. So for this we can use a column set command. So just copy this and paste here. At this place just write column set. Alright. Next one is line width. This command we can use at several places. For example I have used here for adding figure. Okay. For adding graphics. If I use here 0 0.5 Alright, so here I have used 50% of the total line width Okay In the same way we can use a text width, text height Okay In general even side margin, odd side margin, paper width and paper height are used to set the margin for the pages Okay And next one is par indent Okay, so default value we can see here So default value for paragraph indentation is 17.62 point, okay. We can change this indentation, we can change. For the global effect, I will use set length command in the preamble, okay, before begin document. In effect calibrated, just write par indent. Now this time I want to use 1 centimeter. Alright. Similar to this, we can change the vertical spacing between paragraphs with the help of par skip uh, command, okay. Alright. Next one is tab call save. For understanding this command, we will use one table, okay. So, I will write here one table. Alright, so here default value is 6 point between each uh, column which we can change, okay. So at this place, just write backslash set length and in a first curly bracket, just write uh, type policy and in a second curly bracket, just uh, define your length. I want to use uh, 10 point. For the local effect, I want to use uh, this command in the document environment, okay. Compile your file. Alright. Last one is top margin, which is used to set the margin in the top of the page, okay. We can also use some fixed length spaces. We can use H space, V space, H space and V space with the star, H skip and V skip commands, okay. For example, if I write here A and B and I want to use a 5 centimeter space, so just write here H space. Inside curly bracket, just write 5 centimeter and compile your file ok in the same way we can use uh, v space for vertical spacing so as you can see that it's not working for adding vertical space we will have to use one uh, blank line ok alright now it's working This time I want to print this paragraph at the 10 cm distance from the top. So I will write here V space and then just write here 10 cm. As you can see that it's not working. So to get the effects of H space and V space at the end and start of the lines, we can use a start version of these commands. Okay. Just put one star and compile your file. Now it's working. We can also use uh, predefined uh, lengths, okay. For example, I want to use uh, uh, baseline skip, this one. So, here at this place, just write baseline skip. I want to use 2, okay. As you can see that vertical spacing is changing, okay. If I use 0.5 of total line width. Okay. So we can use either first method or second method as per requirement, okay. For the spacing we can also use H skip and V skip commands. So, uh, v skip for vertical spacing. And then just write number and a unit. Alright, 
for the paragraph skipping we can also use big skip medium skip and uh, small skip commands okay for example if i write here uh, big skip if i write here small skip and then compile this file so in this way we can change okay and in the last we can also use stretchable commands generally these commands are used to fill the rest of the lines we can use h fill v fill dot fill and h rule fill commands okay for example if i write here a and b and i want to fill the space between a and b so i write here h fill and then compile this file okay so as you can see that a and b and the space has been filled between a and b okay in the same way we can use v fill we can use dot fill in a similar way we can use h rule fill all right so these are all some important length commands which we have seen in this uh, tutorial so that's all thanks for watching